Hey there, this is Isolde Trachtenberg. I hope you enjoyed today's Encore show. This is an Encore posting of the Self-Made Creative Podcast, as this show used to be called. New episodes will return May 29th with the inimitable Ryan Hayashi. Until then, if you like what you're hearing, please rate, review, and comment. Subscribe to the show so I can keep bringing you the best content for your creativity, your business, and your life. Hello, my loves, and welcome to today's episode of The Self-Made Creative. My name is Isolde T, and I'm super happy you're here. Here is where I explore how to succeed at the crossroads of creativity and business. I'm sitting here with a cat on my lap right after I've completed my morning standing bag workout and morning meditation. I find that both getting my heart rate up and my mind down at peace help me to thrive, help me to create whatever it is that I need to be creating. They also help me keep my mind on the tasks at hand. Sometimes I'm in this space of run, run, run. Everything is crazy. Got to get it done no matter what happens. Ah! And the problem with that, of course, is that that's when things fall by the wayside. If I'm too tired, I don't have physical acumen. So if I'm doing any kind of physical creative work, it, it all is going to fall apart. I'm going to drop things and lose things and forget things and not say or do the things that I am trying to say or do. You know what I'm talking about. When you're in the pocket, when you're right there and you are flowing and everything goes where you want it to go or where you envision it going, that's the magic. That's the stuff. And yet, if you're tired, like I often am with my hypothyroidism, you lose things, you drop things, you forget things, you don't remember what you needed to say or what you needed to do, and you don't have any peace of mind, peace of heart, or peace of soul. It's just a little ragged. It's raw. And sometimes raw can be good in the creation of art, but in the responsible taking care of of your own self, well, it can be downright debilitating. It can paralyze you. It can keep you from acting in the world in the way you most want. So, the rest of this episode is going to be dedicated to you. I'd love to hear from you about what it is that you do to self-care. Do you meditate? Do you go for walks? Do you do some sort of heart racing activity? I don't know, spin class, aerobics, playing racquetball, running after children, running with your dog. What is it that you do? And more importantly, what is it that you want to do to take care of your inner and outer fitness? Because let's face it, especially as we get older, I'm I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Uh, especially as we get older, we need to have strategies to take care of our selves, right? Because the soul is going to have a tough time being at peace and the soul is going to have a tough time creating, coming up with new ideas if it's if you're running around ragged. So what are you doing? What am I doing? You know, I, I meditate every morning. I do Tai Chi uh, with the nicer weather. I'm back outside doing my standing bag workouts, boxing. And certainly if you're ticked off at something, there's no better way than to... Uh, grab some boxing gloves and go punch a bag. Um, (laughs) I know that sounds kind of weird, but there it is. People look at me and they go, oh, there's a nice lady. And yet they don't understand that I'm a martial artist from the time I was a teenager. And it's important. You know, I mean, martial arts is for defense only, but it gives you a sense of yourself and it gives you a sense of peace because you know that your physical body and your intellectual mind and your spiritual heart are all going in the same direction. So I'm going to invite you to participate in a very simple, calming, grounding meditation. I have one that I can share and will share in the page notes, but I also want to ask you to stop what you're doing for a second. Unless you're driving, please don't stop in the middle of the road. But the next time you can, come back to right here and... uh, Sit with your back nice and straight, but not ramrod. 
Relax your shoulders by rotating them up, back, and down. Close your eyes, put your hands on your knees, and breathe. And breathe in this way. I want you to inhale for a count of four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. And relax. You might notice that whatever's been going on in your day doesn't seem to be quite as pressing right now, and that's because we have activated a part of your brain that understands that relaxation and peace and joy are the optimal state. Anytime you need to get back to this place of feeling more peaceful, do this quick and super easy breathing exercise. It will help you immeasurably. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, if you like what you're hearing, please subscribe to the podcast. We're going to be doing this, of course, every single day, as often as possible. (laughs) Every day, about five, six minutes. And if you like what you're hearing, please leave a review. iTunes, Google Play, wherever it is, podcasts to listen to, I would appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, I send you all my love. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and please tell your friends about the community we're building here. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright Isolde Trachtenberg 2019. Today's music was from Kevin McLeod, Laser Groove, and Ava Marimba, brought to you by Creative Commons License 3.0. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, I send you all all of my love.